Welcome to this presentation of the top new features in MediCard for Revit release 2014.11. One of the top new features in MediCard for Revit is the sound calculation based on a selected Revit space. By using the Revit sound calculation tool, you will be able to calculate the total sound level generated by the air terminals within the space. So how does this work now? So let's have a look at the space sound calculation. You will find it under Medical Ventilation Calculation Space Sound Calculation. In the dialog you can select the range of which spaces to calculate, a pre-selection, current view or project. The calculation is based on either absorption coefficient or reverberation time. You can also set the height level for the calculation point of the levels. The input for the parameters can be done either by selecting in the drop-down list a suitable room type that automatically fills in the absorption coefficient and the reverberation time, or you can enter the reverberation time by yourself. Another option is to actually read the parameters from the spaces if you already have the parameter for absorption coefficient, reverberation time or air terminal sound in the space. The first one, air terminal sound, magic ducting LPA, is coming from the air terminals after the sound calculation is of the systems are done. The second one Space observation coefficient doesn't seem to be here in this space. If it would have been, we could have picked it in this drop down list too. The same goes for the reverberation time. Space total sound I'm going to create because I need to create a specific parameter to write the total sound level on the, of the, in the room. So I'm cancelling this function. Then I will go to Manage, Shared Parameter, and I'm going to create a new parameter in the Medical Parameter group. Total Sound Level. It's the discipline common, the parameter is number, and that's it okay. Once the shared parameter is created, I'm going to create the project parameter from it. Shared parameter, select the parameter I just created. Total sound level. I'm going to group it under mechanical I'm going to assign it to spaces. Click OK. OK. If you look at the air terminal, we can see that we have a LPA calculated sound level coming from the system after we were running the sound calculation of the system. The same is for the air terminal. Extract air terminal. 42 dBA, which is quite high. So what is then the result the noise level in this room? If I select the space or spaces, and then I go to ventilation, calculation, space sound calculation. I'm going to pick the default values office library for the input values and I'm going to use absorption coefficients for calculation. But I'm also going to map the total sound level to total sound level parameter that I have recently created. After that I simply click OK. If you look at the space now, we can see that the resulting total sound level was 48.9 dBA. That's how we use the sound calculation of spaces 